Okay, hello guys. I just woke up in Lofoten visiting uh, Cornelia. She has family here and uh, she's always here like every summer and one month uh, around. No, yeah. Every summer, like this month. Yeah, yeah one month. Came rest yesterday uh, without any luggage or my computer or anything because that went missing uh, when I came home from Denmark. And uh, we forgot to buy um, some, how do you say it, bagels now, uh, bread yesterday, so we have to go out and uh, get some. And yeah, I really, really wanted to do a vlog uh, about me being here because it's so beautiful and I want to show you how Norway looks like up in the north. And yeah, this is really the prettiest place I have ever been. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to see if it still looks the same when I was here uh, many, many, many years ago, years ago. So yeah, now it's raining. It's like really typical Norway weather right now. And here's corn. Hello. And yeah, this is our small <laughs> apartment, you can say. And here's the kitchen. Solsidenbrygge. 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 And here is our bedroom. It quite looks like a hotel actually. And here is the bathroom. Here is me. And yeah. Here is a second bedroom for Cornelia's brother. And yeah, we're watching Dr. Phil. I love Dr. Phil, actually. I get really crazy watching it because I lose faith in humanity. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, tell us what happened uh, yesterday. We're going to London. Let's go see that? Yeah. Okay, so um, there's this <laughs> artist that Anakin has been listening to from. Why do I don't know. I don't, know. I don't <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> Since she was a teenager, very like 14 or something. And she just stalked the guy and let's go see Yeah. Yeah, and she thinks he's pretty cute. So he just I was like, oh let's go and let's find the concert. He figured out he has a concert in London in October, so we booked a ticket and then to London, the flight ticket, and then we realized that the concert was sold out. And so she messaged him and he was like, Yeah, I'm good. Let me squeeze here in. How sick is that? You have to check him out. It's like this guy, his name is like R-E-X or something. I, we watched an interview with him and you pronounce it Rye-X. Rye-X. Oh, oh my god, it's so much better to see R-E-X yeah, and like Rye-X. Rye yeah, it's so fast. Oh, that was... Okay, that's... Oh no. Okay, yeah, but that's so crazy. I never like feel that I can tell about stuff like this, but this time it was like really special. So yeah. I'm so excited. We we're actually going to this concert if he can squeeze us in on this like guest list. And um, yeah, that's so cool. Oh, I'm just filming up here. So I'm so excited to go to London and like oh, listen to his music. It will be so cool. And yeah, and we also like yesterday we we ordered tickets to uh, London. We ordered tickets to Bergen. Bergen. It's like another city in Norway. Yeah, we're going to Paris. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be a really cool autumn, <laughs> autumn fall. Fall. Uh, yeah. And now I'm just like because she's been so lonely when she's been up up <laughs> up, up in here. So <laughs> I'm just like trying to. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it gets too much for me when it's I don't know when I'm too social because I need, I'm very introverted, so I need to be a lot of times by myself. But now I've been alone for so long, so she's taking advantage of that and she's picking a lot of pictures. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's and go. I know when it's gonna happen. I'm gonna be like. No, it's going to be so much fun. I really want this to be a really really nice fall. Yes. Yeah. Yay! I don't know why I have so much energy. Because I'm here. Yes, let's go and buy some bread. Let's go. Okay, so it's quite windy. Let's get some bread. This is our car. Look at this. It's cute Mini Cooper, and Cornelia is the worst driver ever. She's actually like. <laughs> worst? 
Uh, yeah, she's crazy. No, she's good. She just like, yeah, I get scared a lot when she drives. I drive very aggressive. She's like this, if you have this old crazy aunt or something, <laughs> and she's like crazy behind the wheel. Wheel? No, behind the stair wheel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Cornelia, for sure. She's like, she doesn't oh, slow yeah. down before she needs to slow down, to say at least. Uh, okay. So, I don't know if you can see anything right now, but here it is. A typical Norwegian house. <laughs> So we just ate some breakfast, if you can see me there. And today I used this one to clean my face. It's Cornelia's product since I don't have any stuff with me. But this is from Rudolf Skincare. I think it's a Danish brand that's vegan. And I also used this Oils of Life, Oils of Life from Body Shop like a facial oil and Cornelia used these two products all the time so yeah she has nice skin and I used this eyebrow gel from MAC and this one that I bought like at the airport it looks like really really pink 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 but uh, it isn't that at all it's actually pretty nude I can try to show you guys no there it's like more nude so yeah, I have it on me and I like it a lot. So I have never been a fan of like matte lips, so I just bought this and it's in the color Obsessed. And yeah, it's maybe more pretty with like makeup on, but I don't have anything because my luggage isn't here. So now, oh, look at that uh, hairy armpit. FIFA! <laughs> <laughs> We're always in the same cycle of life, and that's also really, really strange, but yeah. Even if we haven't been together for a really long time, we meet and we update each other, and we're on the side. Yeah, 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 that's so strange. When we start to talk about things, we're like, oh yeah, me too, yeah, me too, yeah, me too. So yeah. Yep, now we're going to this uh, war museum. Let's go. Okay, we just uh, bought some new stuff and <laughs> we just said uh, uh, using money is the best <laughs> ever. Yeah. Uh, but it, they, you earn money to use them, right? So. Like, I think so. I don't want to. Yeah. Now it sounds like we like bought something really expensive. <laughs> we didn't. I bought some panties, and if you want to know which panties I'm using, Cornelia was like, "Okay, I can't buy, I can't buy them because like Chris is going to wonder what I'm going to do." But you know, like panty panties, like the. And she bought or, them in grandma nude and white as well. <laughs> and like, yeah. <laughs> I love them. Like I bought like everyone in the store almost. But yeah, it's um, from Lindex and also some socks. And the most funny thing is, no, the most exciting part is what I bought from Vita. So I bought this Batista. Uh, uh, <laughs> dry shampoo. <laughs> uh, dry shampoo. And this purple shampoo. My hairdresser is going to kill me because she is like, no, we don't use that. I do that one. And does that smell the same as the fruity? Does it smell a lot? No. But I heard like Matilda when I was in uh, Skåne uh, in Sweden. She told me that this is the best one. So I want oh. to try this one because, like, the I love Batista, but your hair gets really white, and I don't like that anymore. Before I did, but not that anymore. This is good. Uh, and I bought some different facial masks. Uh, one with cucumber. Show them here. Okay, so I bought 
This one, cucumber, they are toxifying. What else are they? Cucumber. 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 And tea tree, med mask. And some deep cleansing with aloe vera. Aloe vera. And some oxygen bubble clay mask. And then uh, some nail grow. I don't. <laughs> To make my nails stronger because they always just yeah I break them and some eyebrow I, I forgot this one some eyebrow <laughs> coloring so we can color our eyebrows uh, I love to do that I love dark eyebrows. Now we're at this uh, seaweed. Uh, how, how do you say this? We're uh, at this uh, factory. Uh, seaweed factory. Like they make salt, truffle salt, and they make like chocolate, and they make uh, like every, and everything is with seaweed from Norfolk. Yeah, they pick it just right here in the water. That's so cool. So. Uh, Cornelia, I have talked to these people about doing her own collaboration with some products that she... Not a collaboration, I want to start my own yeah. brand and uh, we're talking about maybe, I don't know, we'll see. She wants maybe to use kind of... seaweed. Yeah. So And she wanted it to be like something about Lofoten, right? So mm -hmm. and Natural, vegan... And how vegan. cool is that? I want some really good product. Products yeah. I want to skin. make the product so you don't need anything else, just like the basic like... Yeah. Things you need. I would use it for the rest of my life. Yay! That would be so we'll cool. See. So we're gonna go in and see how it works, how they make their products and get inspired and try out. That's so cool. And uh, so I'm going to wear, <laughs> make the clothes you're going to wear and Cornilla yes! <laughs> fix your skin. We're and take over the world. And we have our, our dream is to have like our own restaurant. Yeah. So if we have like all these three things, we will rule the world. Yeah. I and have one then, more thing I want to do with you. Yeah. Is to <laughs> with you. <laughs> make an um, make interior stuff. How cool would it be yeah, to I like know. make sofas or plates? I don't uh, know. That but that so will cool. like I think we could be really good at that when we get like forty. Forty. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. Like when we're old. <laughs> Cool. We're going to like taste it straight from the ocean before it's like been dry and stuff. And I can't believe that something from the sea can taste like truffle. So we came and it's called Grise Tang Docke. Oh, you're gonna love this. Oh my god, I can't believe it. But you must film the show. Okay. Så det tar lite grann ens tid. Du tycker inte väldigt känna att den truffel smaken kommer fram. Wow. 
Jag tror jag är på det här raraste. What? Smakar du det jag smakar? Ja. Prövar du? Smakar du det jag smakar? Jag tror först tänkte jag också när jag kommer till det. Det är det vi får i taste. Det är smakar bara rulla in i munnen. Just uh, went to the ocean and uh, actually ate fresh seaweed from the ocean. Oh, well, but really, this was so amazing, and I or we get so inspired to like uh, if we ever open a restaurant or it's going to happen. But when, when we open a restaurant uh, uh, to like create so strong and independent uh, uh, dishes, so like with all the ingredients from Norway, or if it's like just a uh, uh, curry, we can do like a Norwegian curry and just like make it so Norwegian with fresh Norwegian um, ingredients. ingredients yes. from local places. And somebody. just like even the salt should be perfect and like yeah, really strong and independent dishes. Dishes. Truly a big dream now. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I know, is, I got even more it, This was so, uh, so, yeah, good trip. Yeah, this was meant to. to be. Yeah, I know. And we talked about that. Like, we do stuff uh, that we feel like, maybe not now, and everyone have their uh, like time to do stuff. Like someone, yeah, as we, as I read to you, like uh, Obama yeah, got like president when he was, uh, no, he no, retired he. as a president when he was 40 and Trump, Did. yeah, and Trump, um, <laughs> Became president. Became president when he was 70? 70? Yeah. 70? 17? 70. <laughs> 70. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So everything takes like, we, we all have our own time. Yeah. And I feel that this is just a small step towards something yeah. really, really amazing and huge and big and cool. And, and oh, it's not amazing. about like, because we've been talking for a very long time and I think a part of us want to, str we want to get it out quickly. But imagine if we got it out last year, we wouldn't have thought of this no, and I then know, it wouldn't be what it can be. And I've always yeah. thought about my life like that. So yeah. like, it just, yeah. It's just like, it Things works. happen at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything yeah. takes Give time. Give things time. Don't stress about it. Yeah. You've got a long life, hopefully, so. Yeah. Hmm. Hello guys, now I'm back home in Oslo, Norway. Yeah, I'm still in Norway, but uh, yeah. Uh, it was a really really nice and relaxing trip to Lofoten and the Cornelia is still there. I left her early this morning and uh, I'm back home. And I know you guys are so excited to see my apartment. So I promise that I will do that very 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 soon. Uh, I'm also excited to show you my apartment and I have not forgot about it. I just want it to be perfect. So yeah, I'm back home watching some HBO series that I have missed out on and uh, I'm going to make my, myself a dinner and that will be chicken or chicken and uh, rice some sauce and vegetables so that will be pretty nice and yeah yeah so I'm a bit tired I went home early because I have to go to this uh, press stuff tomorrow with the television program I'm in so yeah up early and uh, back in routines so I hope you like this video and want to go to Lofoten and uh, yeah talk to you soon guys <laughs>